collection event 100 kilometers northeast of the capital. Following the deadly attack in Christchurch, the country's Labour government launched a national buyback scheme, offering financial compensation to people who surrender their guns before the 20th of December. As part of tougher gun laws, most semi-automatic weapons and high-capacity magazines are now banned. Since the program kicked off in mid-July, more than 19,000 firearms have been handed in and 21 million euros paid out. There are some people that are very emotional with some of, some of their firearms and we accept that and uh, we'll do everything to respect that. We make the process as easy and as simple as possible for them. Where the firearms are old and been handed down through the family, it's quite an impact on them to actually have to give that firearm after many years or generations been in that family. The contentious crackdown and subsequent debate have divided not only New Zealand, but the firearm community itself, some 250,000 gun license holders. All right, tribe, let this be a warning to every single gun owner in the United States of America. For those who say this will never happen to us, well, history has a funny way of repeating itself. And we are dumb because we never learn from it. Now, I'm sure the New Zealanders thought the same thing. This will never happen to us. The Australians, the British. But look at them now. See, you underestimate the powers of be that want to take our gun rights away or take our rights away little by little. You underestimate the history that we have had with the corrupt government. You forget about Ruby Rich. You forget about the bonus march. Do you even recall what that was all about? It was about veterans asking for a hundred dollar bonus that the government promised them. And you know what they did? They used tanks and shot veterans right in front of DC lawns. Yeah, this is our government. So, it's not first rodeo, but I gotta tell you this is I'll be damned if this ever happens to me or many of our patriots. It's gonna make us look like crazies and push red flag laws. And they're gonna go after veterans first, of course. So I tell you guys, do not underestimate the powers. I hear this all the time with people saying, well, what we're we gonna do, we need a leader. Guess what? You are the leader, you are the militia. Every single American patriot above the age of 17 who can bear the right to bear arms is the militia. Now, because of my message is not supported by conservatives or liberals, Democrats, it's always being censored. It's been censored since 2009. I am a communism survivor, legal Latino immigrant, and a United States Marine veteran. So what I need you to do is I need you to share this video and I need you to sign up to our newsletter, UncleSamIsGotAChildren.com. Again, UncleSamIsGotAChildren.com. All right, God save the Republic. Hurrah.